Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today I want to talk to you about the Galaxy's Edge Popcorn Buckets. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I am totally into Star Wars. I am old. <laughs> I've been around since the very beginning, been following the franchise since the very beginning, and uh, I use this channel just to talk about everything that I love about Star Wars. Basically, if it has Star Wars on it, I love it. I'm a fan. I don't hate on anything. That includes the new movies. I love the, the new TV shows. I love Galaxy's Edge. I love Disney. I love all of that. Um, I did a review a while back for the Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket. If you haven't watched that, go out and check that out. But uh, that was my first one. And I don't mean that was my first Star Wars popcorn bucket. That was my first collectible popcorn bucket. I mean, I've always got the the like the refill buckets, you know, that you get for your kids. I've always got those uh, that, that look like little, you know, sand pails, like, you know, something you take to the beach, but never got the collectibles and certainly never got anything in the parks itself. I know people rush down to the parks when the new popcorn buckets drop. Did you see the lines for the figment? Popcorn buckets, it was insane. People went crazy for those uh, figment popcorn buckets. I was so I was so blown away. Um, and still at that point, I'd only ever had the one, just, just, just the William Falcon one. And I know some girls uh, use, use it even as a purse because it kind of kind of looks like a William Falcon purse. But um, since I've been back uh, from my most recent trip to Disney World, I saw there were some people still walking around with the mouse droid. And I kind of came back thinking, you know what, I would like to get the mouse droid. So here's my, here's my philosophy on popcorn buckets and some of those things. I know people say, ooh, rush down there and get them before they sell out. You can always get them on eBay. You can, you can always get them on eBay. And I know people hike the prices up. Usually they hike the prices up when they're hot, okay? When they're hot, when they're new, when everyone's clamoring to go get them, that's when the prices go up. But if you wait a while, the prices come back down because people end up uh, buying those popcorn buckets and not selling them, uh, especially something like this, what I'm going to show you today. And I got mine for just around about the same price uh, that you could get them in the parks. So let's say, I think they were 20 and $25 ish when they were in the parks and I got mine for 30. So you pay five extra bucks plus shipping and you don't have to run down to the parks to get them. You don't have to worry about how do I put these in, you know, my, my luggage and take them home. You don't gotta worry about luggage or anything. Someone else boxes it up. Someone else goes stands in line for you. Someone else ships it to you. And for a couple of extra bucks, it gets shipped right to your door. I mean, I don't live in Florida, so if I can have it shipped to me for a couple extra bucks, great. Uh, today I wanna look at the two I got recently. So we're gonna look at the mouse droid and the black TIE fighter from The Force Awakens. I'm gonna show both of them to you like one at a time. Uh, the black TIE fighter from Force Awakens is humongous. I mean, you thought the Millennium Falcon was big. This is big too, but it's bigger in a different way because there's just more, I don't know, it's more 3D to it. It just seems bigger. And it really does seem like a TIE fighter, you know, your, your kids could play with, even though the wings aren't necessarily the right size for the cockpit, right? In real life, the wings should be a lot bigger if the cockpit is this size. But the little top opens up, and that's where the popcorn goes, of course. It just goes in that cockpit housing. I believe, I believe these came out in 2015. So they're six years old, right? Six years old for a popcorn bucket that I paid $32 for, and I think originally it was 25. So, you know, not much of a price gouge, and happy to pay it so that it can be on my shelf and be a collectible. Uh, I'll show you what the wings look like when they pop off. Uh, you just kind of wiggle it back and forth and they just come right off pretty easily. And that's actually convenient for me so that I can stick it in uh, the shelf where I have mine because my shelves are a little low. And I'll show you what the wing looks like just by itself. Just the detail work that's on one side really does look like a molded cast of what TIE fighter wings look like. The other side, uh, a little bit more simpler, right? And then you got the, the carry strap 
right? Carry strap and the carry strap says Force Awakens on it. Uh, I love how it's got the, the extra color of the red canopy, so that's cool. Uh, and it's, I think it's cool. I mean, it's, it's neat to have a nice, big, huge black TIE fighter like that on my collectible shelf. So happy, happy to get that one. And then the other one that I just picked up was the mouse droid. Now we call it the mouse droid, but it's really the MSE-6 droid. And I believe this came out in 2019. So for me right now, it's two years old. But the cool thing about this is it's more the right shape. Like if you were gonna picture a mouse droid in real life, like it would probably be around this size. Now I'm sure the, the experts, right? The experts, the, the people that know, they would say, oh no, it's two inches shorter or, or whatever. But I mean, it's approximately, right? Approximately the size. And the wheels turn. The wheels really turn on this. It's so cool. Like they could have just made it, you know, and cast it so the wheels didn't turn and just made it all one piece. But this feature, uh, is that the wheels turn. Now the the carry strap on this one is like the brown uh, carry strap that you're also gonna see on some of the drink carriers uh, in Galaxy's Edge. So it's a similar, just kind of a, a, a beat up kind of brownish. And then the, the flap for the popcorn is on the top. So you got that and uh, molded detail all the way around. Underneath you got a recommended age sticker and some uh, some copyright and all that kind of stuff at the bottom. But uh, I've seen a lot of people still carry these in the parks. So the mouse droid seems to be one of the favored uh, popcorn buckets to bring back as fans because when you wear it around your neck, it's just literally like right there, like a feeding trough, <laughs> right? And the, the TIE Fighter is really big and bulky and you'd have to kind of carry it off to the side. The Falcon, again, also big and bulky, but the mouse droid, perfect size. Uh, I've seen a lot of my favorite TikTokers uh, they carry the mouse droid around as well. Uh, question for you. Question for you. Uh, which one's your favorite? Okay, so what's your what's your favorite Star Wars Star Wars popcorn bucket? I mean, if you want to tell me your favorite popcorn bucket, that's fine too. Um, are there others? Because I I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> like these are the only ones I've ever seen uh, Star Wars. So is there another Star Wars popcorn bucket I'm missing or could add to my collection? Tell me down in the comment section below and I will look for it as well, unless it's one of those super rare ones that are impossible to find. Hey, I hope you are liking the little Boba Fett shorts that I'm doing down below. Uh, those are just uh, extra footage from my uh, TikTok channel. So I have a TikTok channel, um, Mandalorian Magic. You can follow me over on TikTok and I do these little Boba Fett shorts. I do them every single day. Uh, just, you know, my Boba Fett mask, I put it on and just have fun on TikTok. I'm not. I'm not trying to be famous or or creative or original or anything. It's just it's just me goofing off. And the great thing is, uh, putting them on the YouTube channel has kind of boosted uh, viewership. So more people are watching the channel now than were before. So that's just it's just fun. Uh, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, that's fine. You know, it's just it's just me being silly. <laughs> and and we and we have to, we all have to have that kind of outlet, right? Uh, my Disney World trip coming up almost in the 100 days, okay? It's almost, almost 100 days away. So getting super stoked about that. Uh, gonna have a ton of fun. Gonna head down to Galaxy's Edge twice on two different days and hopefully, hopefully be able to do the uh, build your own lightsaber experience. Uh, looking forward to doing that. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and may the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.